Hello and welcome to the ORCAD X Capture series. This video demonstrates how to create a heterogeneous part in the ORCAD X Capture. The heterogeneous is a multi section symbol that consists of two or more unique schematic symbols and must have a different set of logical pins. In this demonstration, we will guide you through the process of creating an operational amplifier, op amp, which includes all four gates in its package. To create a heterogeneous part, right-click on the library name in the Project Manager. Then select the New Part option. Under the New Part Properties dialog box, specify the symbol's name, part reference prefix as U for the IC component, and PCB footprint. If you are creating a multiple part package, put those parts per package fields. In this example, set to 4. Select the package type heterogeneous. This implies that the package will contain four gates, and each of the gates is asymmetrical or unidentical. Select the part numbering, which will be alphabetic or numeric, and the pins will be visible on the schematic symbol when used in a design. Click OK to create a new symbol. The new empty symbol is created with the symbol boundary added to the schematic symbol editor window. If you wish to view or edit the package property, use the Package and Part Properties window. Next, add the schematic symbol outline using the Place, Line command, or click on the corresponding icon in the Drawing toolbar. Draw the polyline, which will snap to the 100mm grid in the workspace area. And shrink the bounding box for the component outline. To place a pin, use the Place, pins command or the pin icon in the toolbar. In the place pin dialog box, specify the pin name and number, choose the pin shape, and set the pin type. Click OK to place the pin. To add another pin, click again, and the pin number will increment. Once you've placed the input pin, you can add another pin for the output. Change the pin names and numbers as per the datasheet and change the output pin type to output. Let's define the power and ground pins. Add a ground pin at the bottom and a VCC pin at the top. To add the ground pin with a specified pin number and a zero length pin shape. Also, make sure to set the pin type to power. If you want the power pin to be visible in the schematic, tick the pin visible field. Now, Let's add the ground pin at the very bottom, and then add another power pin on the top. Make sure to change its pin name to VCC and its pin number accordingly. Next, we'll add a user property to this part. Let's start by clicking on the new button. Then, specify the package in the property name field, leave the property value field blank, and click on the add property icon. Once the property is added, click on the display property icon and change the visibility to value only. We have completed pinning out the first gate out of the four. Three remaining gates need to be pinned out. You can duplicate the graphics, pins, and properties from one section to another, except for power pins. However, you will need to reassign pin numbers to each of the duplicate sections. You can perform the same action for gate C and D to view all four gates, switch to package view using view, package. You will notice that when you are in package view mode, two gates are yet to be pin out. To assign pin numbers for the remaining gates C and D, go to the edit pins option either from the edit menu or from the properties pane. You will find a spreadsheet containing all the pins of the package in four sections. Before assigning the device pinouts, make sure to refer to the vendor's datasheet to get the pin numbers correctly. You can make the pin names and numbers visible or invisible from the Part Properties menu. A heterogeneous part is created. That's all the time we have now for this video. To learn more about the ORCAD X Capture tool, click the link below and enroll for free courses on the Cadence Support Portal. Thanks for watching.